Hello everyone, today I am going to talk about my favorite Shopify app, named Lucky Orange. Have you had such a situation where you spent so much time and money on marketing and advertisements for your store, and it also brings a lot of traffic to your website, you are so excited on seeing people coming to your Shopify store. However, what is frustrated is that you see very few conversions. You may be wondering what is going on on your store and why people don't place orders. This app is exactly what you need. It records what customers are doing on your website and helps you understand what is going wrong. Let's first talk about how to install the app. First click the button and visit the Shopify App Store. Then search Lucky Orange. The first one in the returned results is the one we are looking for. Let's click into that. And then click the Add App button to install Lucky Orange into your Shopify store. Here we go, the app is successfully installed into our store. My user interface here might not be the same as yours, since I already installed the app several days ago. In your Shopify store, the app may ask you to choose a plan. I recommend you to start with the free plan, which gives you 7 days of free trial. You can use the 7 days to get familiar with the app and set it up on your store. From the UI, you can find all the features on the top menu, I will go through them one by one. The first menu is the dashboard where you can find the statistics of your store traffic. For example, the first section tells you how many visitors are currently visiting your website at the moment. The second section tells you totally how many page views and unique users have access to your store within a time frame. Moreover, you can see the distributions of your visitors in a map view from the dashboard. For me, the dashboard is not much different than the other analytics tools such as Google Analytics, however, what really differentiates it from Google Analytics is the next set of features I am going to talk about. From live visitors, you are able to find all the live visitors in your Shopify store and what they are doing in action. Now you can see there is one live visitor on my website. You can also see which page is being visited and how many pages the visitor has visited. By clicking on the three buttons, you can see a replay of what the visitor just did your website, what the visitor is doing right now, and you can even live chat with the visitor, which is cool. From the recordings menu, you can see all the previous users who have visited your store, and you can view the replays of all their actions and your website. Let's check out one of my previous visitors and see what actions the visitor took in the shopping experience in my store. Let's assume the user is a girl. Looks like she was on my home page, browsing, scroll, 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 until she see the feature product section. She clicked on the first product there. She was looking at the pictures of the product and then scroll down, she was reading the description section. She added the product to the shopping cart, looks like she is going to make a purchase. But wait a moment, she jumped to the return policy page and read that we only have 7 days refund period. Now she changed her mind and removed the item from her shopping cart. The replay tells you the whole story of a user journey and then it gives you some idea why your website got low conversion and so that you can optimize the website, in this case, potentially increase the length of your return policy. But you may find other issues in your own store from the replay. It is very useful. The next menu is the chat menu where you can find all the chat history with your visitors. If you have relatively large traffic, you can even set up multiple operators to handle the visitor chat. Let's see how to trigger a chat with the visitor. Go back to the live visitors menu, and click the ask to chat button, and type what you want to say to the live visitor. Now let's see what happened to the visitor. 
we can see a chat box is popping up on the bottom right corner. If you see the visitor hesitating on the product page for a long time, you can probably use the chat box to give the visitor a coupon or a discount to make them convert. The next feature is polls. Basically you can create a little survey popping up on your website asking your customers some questions. For example, on my store, I created a poll to ask my customers what can we do better? Let's me turn it on to see what will happen to my visitors. You can see a little survey popping up to the visitor. Based on the feedback collected from your customers, you can better optimize your store and potentially increase your conversion rate. The next important feature is the heat map, where you can see a heat map view on how visitors click on your Shopify store. You can have an idea which links, buttons or products are popular and which ones are not, so you can optimize accordingly. Let's take my home page as an example. You can see the first collection link has been clicked twice, the second collection links has been clicked once, if you scroll down, you will see the first featured product is most popular, and the second one also has some clicks, but the last one has never been clicked. Based on the heat map, we can either remove the last product from our featured product list on the home page since no one is interested in clicking that, or try to optimize the picture or text of that product to see if it helps boost the click rate. The last menu is the form analytics. This feature can help you figure out what is wrong with the forms on your website. For example, subscription form and contact form. Let's take a look at the contact form on my website. From the summary tab, you can see that there were totally three visitors got on my contact page, one of them abandoned the form submission, the other two successfully submitted the form. And the average time spent on the form is one second. The report tab tells you how far the visitor that abandoned the form submission had gone through in the form. Here, we can see the last filled field was email, which probably means the visitor didn't want to tell the phone number. Maybe we can try to make the phone number field optional, so perhaps more people are willing to fill out the contact form. Now we have finished all the features for Lucky Orange, in the next section, we will talk about the pricing. Lucky Orange is not free, but it does come with a 7-day free trial. Please make sure you choose the free plan right after you install the app. After 7 days, if you find it is useful, you are going to choose one of the following plans, Starter, Small Business, Medium, Large, Enterprise. I would suggest start with the Starter plan, and gradually upgrade as your site gets more traffic, unless you know you will have a lot of traffic when your store is launched. The starter plan comes with 25,000 page views per month for one site, which is good enough for most of the new stores. Plus you are able to add two operators or administrators to your Lucky Orange app, so you have more people handle the chat with your customers and more eyes look at the replays for you. Also you get your replays and heat map data stored in cloud for 30 days. Also I would like to tell you a trick to save money which worked for me before. You can always call the customer support to try to get a discount even for the starter plan, if they refuse, it doesn't hurt. This is the end of our tutorial today on Lucky Orange. I hope you enjoy the tutorial, thanks for watching, please subscribe if you like my channel, see you next time.